California News. Ch. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon forecasts an economic hurricane and advises investors to prepare for market volatility as the Fed tightens its monetary policy and Russia continues to wage war in Ukraine. Dimon warned in May of storm clouds looming over the U.S. economy. He revised that assessment Wednesday at an annual conference sponsored by Allianz Bernstein. I said there were storm clouds, big storm clouds, Diamond said. Now it's a hurricane. Dottie added that even though the economy seems fine at the moment and everyone thinks the Fed can handle this, rough times are on their way. We don't know if it's a minor one or super storm Sandy. You better brace yourself, Diamond told the room's investors. Ch. Morgan is bracing ourselves, and we're going to be very conservative with our balance sheet. Diamond only spoke in weather metaphors during the conference and did not forecast a recession. In early May, Diamond said the U.S. had just a one in three chance of avoiding a recession because of those stormy clouds. At Allianz Bernstein, Diamond attributed his changed forecast to two factors the Fed's quantitative tightening in financial markets and the ramifications of the Ukraine war on global commodity markets. Quantitative tightening refers to policies that reduce the size of the Fed's balance sheet and deplete the money supply floating around in the economy, reversing the quantitative easing the Fed turned to amid the economic calamities of 2008 and, more recently, 2020. We've never had QT like this, so you're looking at something you could be writing history books on for 50 years, Diamond said. They do not have a choice because there's so much liquidity in the system. They have to remove some of the liquidity to stop the speculation, reduce home prices and stuff like that. Diamond also expressed concern over uncertainty surrounding the war in Ukraine and its unintended consequences for the world's wheat, oil, and gas markets. We are not taking the proper actions to protect Europe from what's going to happen in oil in the short run and we are not taking the proper actions to protect you all from what's going to happen in oil in the next five years, he said. Which means it almost has to go up in price. Other major investors, including Grantham, Mayo, and Van Otter lose Jeremy Grantham and Wells Fargo CEO Charlie Scharf, have recently shared similarly gloomy outlooks. In May, Grantham cast doubt on the Fed's ability to repair the impact of its past monetary policies, including near zero interest rates and quantitative easing, or purchases of mortgage backed securities and government bonds to increase the money supply. Scharf predicted in late May that there is no question the U.S. is heading for an economic downturn. Thank for your watching California News. Please like and subscribe our channel.